Welcome to the adventure on Pumlet on W4CY Radio. Wake up, America! It's time for the adventures of Hype Man on W4CY.com, West Palm Beach's number one internet radio station. Here's your host, the Hype Man. This is the Pipe Man here on the Adventures Pipe Man W4CY Radio, and I'm here with... Elias from the band Nonpoint, baby. Nice, yes. I was just talking about, you know, last night I was at the Motley Crue set, and I was telling one of the other media people I was with, I was like, there's a line in this song of a place I used to hang out all the time that's gone now. Yep. You tell them what it is. Uh, you know I, what? I believe it's the Dollhouse, right? That's it. The right Dollhouse there. In Fort Lauderdale. That's it. Sample I Road. Re- I do recall the Dollhouse. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yes, I do. I do remember. Can you imagine? Dollhouse in Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> Can you imagine all the people listening to that Motley Crue song have no idea what that means? Yeah, yeah. And and, and he talked about the Sunset Strip. Yep. Uh we had our own sunset strip in South Florida, so we, did. we, we claimed that one, too, even though it wasn't ours. <laughs> you know, it's funny about the dollhouse as an example. First time I ever came to Fort Lauderdale, my dad was living down there. First place he takes me to was Solid Gold. That's his, my yes. introduction to Fort Lauderdale, Florida. It's funny. Solid Gold, uh, the owner of Solid Gold, uh, was actually a, a huge Nonpoint fan. And whenever we played Revolution, he would always send a car to the venue to pick up anybody that wanted to come back to Solid Gold and nice. hang out and party for a little while before we had a, a bus call. It was, it was fun, man. It was good good people. I love it. And remember, like, bootleggers with bootleggers, the Sunday yes. bikini Button contest? South, the Bud yep. South. How about uh, what the candy store? The candy store, yeah. Right? Yeah, South Florida was a... a a, a, a plethora of exotica. <laughs> <laughs> Lots, a lot of, <laughs> lot of exotica. Do you remember? Florida, oh, my God. Exotica. Do you yeah. remember the topless donut shop and the new there car top, wash? The topless car wash. Yes, that's how you were. <laughs> you, you beat me to it. You beat me to it. <laughs> oh, my God. Fort Lauderdale in you the day. You beat me to it. No ditty. No ditty. <laughs> no ditty. You beat me. No ditty. Oh, so you're now we're here at Welcome to Rockville. Yes. Like, this is as close to home as it gets if you're oh, not home, man, right? Oh, man, this is... This is, uh, this is like Mecca for me. My dad was a huge NASCAR fan. I got all his Harley shirts when he passed, and he was a huge Earnhardt fan. And we used to watch the Daytona races all the time. He used to go to Homestead. So, uh, you know, being somewhere like this and playing somewhere, I, I just I think about my dad watching me wow. for sure. He definitely was, was helping me through today's set. He's way proud. Oh, man, it was, it was, uh, I definitely felt. Love you, Bill. I love you. I miss you. No doubt. Yes. For real. Oh, my God. He was definitely with you here, for yeah. sure. You could feel it, I'm sure. Indeed. You know? So, you were also just at Sick New World. Yes. Now, I haven't done that festival yet. How we- how was that festival? And, it was, and how you was your experience? It was beautiful. It was a great day. We were first. We're number one. <laughs> we're number one. We were first. And the crowd was outstanding for us. Everybody funneled right to us. So, it was, it was fun. But the weather was perfect. Wow. It was a breezy, like, 78 degrees. Right. It was almost cold on stage. But the crowd was phenomenal. We hope we get invited back. I love it. So, being a Floridian, how do you think you're more used to playing in this hot and humidity than some of these other bands? Or do oh, you absolutely. never get used to it? Oh, no. I've, I've been used to it since I, I, I used to lifeguard back in South Florida. So I grew up in, that's why I have, my, my arm hairs are bleached <laughs> from years of being in the sun. But I don't mind the, the heat. I feel like I'm built for it. So 
You know, it's funny. Is I was just in Costa Rica for three months, mm-hmm. and I came back to Florida. I'm like, wow, it's kind of cool in Florida. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You get you you get used to it. You get right. Used to it. You know, and everybody was complaining yesterday. I'm like, it's actually kind of cool for Florida. It is. It actually has cooled down. Nice breeze yes. and all that. Yes. So now what? Now now how do you top sick new world and welcome to Rockville? What's next for Nam? Sonic Temple. And yeah. Then louder, and then louder than life. We have we have lots of really great festivals that we're going to get a chance to play and uh shout out to the danny wimmer Mm -hmm. uh, productions people and and inviting us back out and we've 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 had nothing but a great experience at all these festivals the crew the accommodations everything is 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 just been stellar so and i love hearing that because i've been talking about danny wimmer like the whole weekend with artists and every festival i do I've never heard an artist say a bad thing no, about it's, Danny it's Wimmer. Easy. It's super easy. He makes it easy every time. And uh, he, he knows what it takes to put on a, a show like this. It's and how to treat an artist. Yeah, you yeah know, like it really is. How many festivals or shows do you show up that, you know, they it becomes a shit show for you as the band? And then you're stressed out going on stage. And all yeah. I ever hear at Danny Wimmer Festival is... Man, it's the most stress-free free yeah. experience ever. The food's ever. great. The, the the staff is always great. A lot of familiar faces. It's always people that you know are seasoned and know you, and it's 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 a great experience every time. Sonic Temple, that's going to be killer. That's yeah. an iconic venue, festival venue right yeah. there. How excited are you about that? Oh, we're we're, we're stoked. We're stoked. We've we've uh, had an opportunity to play, you know, that that venue a, a few times. So yeah. It, it, we're we're excited again. And louder in life, you're going to be, you know, sharing the grounds with the immortal Slayer. Is that sharing the uh, did stage? That, with did Slayer. that blow your mind? It absolutely blew my mind. Really, my drummer, my drummer couldn't believe it. He was like shaking when he saw it. Right. He was like, "This is bucket list. This is my bucket list." My number one, yeah. of course, next to non point, but my number one favorite band of all time, Slayer. That's awesome. And I went to their first show ever. Oh, that's ever. great, man. Yeah. So, here's a funny story. Last night, I'm at ICP. Kerry King's next. First performance ever. First performance. Oh, another first. First show in five years for Kerry. That's great, man. And uh, I go to the stage, the next stage. I go in where the pit's going to be. I'm up front and center. Lights come on and everything. And David Draymond walks out. I'm like, fuck, I'm at the wrong stage. Aww. But I did end up getting the Curry King. But I, like, it was so funny because I've never done that before. I was like <laughs> sitting there. I, I did all this work to get through the crowd. And I'm like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but, man, that's the one thing. This Welcome to Rockville. Here's what I'm going to say is going to happen. It's going to be the highest attended U.S. festival in history because... Last night alone, on a Thursday night, I could not walk through the place. Yeah. It's, it's, no matter where you were. Yeah, the crowd's, the crowd's packed in there. Yeah. That's great. So, it was well, nonstop great. crowd surfing during our set. So well, there you go. I can't complain. I love that. So what else is going on new in 2024 that uh, you want to tell us? May 21st, our song Underdog hits everywhere. Nice. We have the Kicking and Screaming tour coming up with... Uh, Blackstone Cherry, end of July, uh, August. And then we go overseas with Soil over to the UK. And with them, head PE and Union Underground. Nice. And then Talks and Whispers of Australia, New Zealand, and Japan. Wow. Yeah. What's your favorite place in the world? Well, not favorite place, but favorite memory in the world of where you've played. Favorite memory... Of where you play, a place that you play. Not, it could you know, be. Australia has a, a, a special place in my heart. You know, doing Soundwave and doing that entire run, bouncing from city to city with other bands that are in, our, you know, in our peer group and in our genre. Yeah. Um, that was fun. That was nice. really fun, you know, sharing planes and trains and automobiles and, and then stages with some of the, you know, some of the my my favorite bands on the planet that was that was that was quite an experience very cool and so if you were to give one of the coolest moments that ever happened in your musical career what would it be uh coolest moments 
I would say, you know, doing a doing a song with David uh, Draymond every night on on the Disturbed Bone was pretty pretty fun. We did a Killing in the Name of, and it, it, oh, that's badass. It was it was cool. Do you know who played with them last night? No. From Heart. No way! Wow. Yes. And wow. Wilson. Wow. Is that wild? That's crazy. I was like, wow, what a great mistake I made. Yeah. <laughs> Oh Upstairs. man, it was it was like somebody was sending me to the disturbed set. There you go. The there universe it is. doesn't put you, puts you right where you're supposed to be. Exactly. And tell everybody they should know, but tell everybody how to reach out to you guys on socials, how to get the new music when sure. it drops, check uh, out tour dates, it's all that. Nonpoint Band on uh, IG, Nonpoint Official on Facebook. Uh, if you type Nonpoint, you'll find us. Uh, we'll be the first ones that pop up. And uh, all of our socials are, are up and running, man. So if wherever you like to be social, go give us a follow. Uh, May 21st again, Underdog uh, goes live. And, I love uh, it. There's a pre-sale right now with our, our first baseball jerseys, black and red. It's so fucking cool. Whoa. So, I think I, I might have to get one of them yeah, myself. Yeah, it's, it's a, it comes with a pennant, uh, Now Point Underdog pennant, and uh, it's, it's pretty cool. Check I it love it. I love it. Yeah. Anything else you want to share with the listeners that we haven't covered already? No, I'll see you at the next show. Oh, absolutely. And we'll have to like be in the pit together for Slayer at Louder Than Life. It sounds good. Love it. Thanks again thanks for being here. Welcome, Rockville. And thanks for being on the Adventures Pipe. Thanks. Thank you for listening to the Adventures of Pipe Man on W4CY Radio.